I'm in more common. And um, I just wanted to share my story with, um, with all of you out there. Um, I know um, there are, unfortunately, quite a few out there that um, have found themselves in the same situation that I was in, or that I am in, or thank God, you know, not in anymore. Anyways, um, the year 2010 is the year that changed my life forever. Um, I got married um, to the most wonderful husband in the world, in, as a matter of fact, in the universe, as you can see those wedding pictures behind me. Um, only um, in June of 2009, and um, December of that same year, so only six months after, a terrible thing happened to me, and um, I had had emergency surgery, and um, that uh, just a few weeks later, um, the doctor called me in to discuss the results of, of the surgery and of the tumor that was taken out of my brain. And um, he pronounced the most horrifying words that you ever want to hear. The, the, mo the worst thing you ever want to be diagnosed with that everyone is terrified of. Yep, you got it, the C word, cancer. He said I had cancer of the brain. And at that point, I think my heart must have stopped. That, uh, 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 my heart, and that of my husband, of my mother-in-law and everyone else that was in the, my my mother was in there with me. You know, that's the worst thing you want to hear is is that you have cancer and and just not too long before that, you know, I, I was I was actually talking about this. I was saying how you know I, that's that's something that you know once you have it once, you know, there's, there's it's it's gonna come back. You're gonna die from it eventually. And there I was in that doctor's office, and he was telling me. But that's what I had. So of course, you know, my I, my heart stopped, and my stomach flipped, and I just wish I could just stop time and press stop and rewind and and any other buttons there are, you know, to press and just to avoid hearing that. And then he proceeded to say, well, normally people with stage three cancer that like the one you have, and it's only by the way, it's only three out of four, or that I mean, it's only four all together, and I had stage three out of four. So um, he said only live um, approximately five to ten years after a, a certain diagnosis. So that, you know, I'm, I'm looking at him, I just wanted to shake him and, and hit him and, and, and just destroy his office and say, you know, how the hell are you going to tell me I'm 29 years old, just got married to... Um, an angel falling from heaven, and, and I was as happy as can be, how are you going to tell me that I'm going to die in five to ten years? You know, I, I just, I don't know, I, I, I didn't know what to do, and I looked in, in, in Pat's eyes, who was my husband, and he looked in mine, and we both just had tears rolling down our faces, and, 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 and you know, you guys out there that, you, you know, you want to act all tough and all, all the time saying that you don't cry, don't, don't, don't lie. It's okay to cry. I mean, it, it, at a, at a time, at t in times like these, you can't do anything but cry. You know, let alone, I mean, it's hard enough to just breathe and, or, or swallow your own saliva because your throat is, is so effing dry. Uh, and excuse my language, but I, I can't, I, I just, I'm reliving it now. Just thinking about it. It's, it's, crazy what goes through your mind, thinking, oh, are you telling me I'm going to die, I just got married, I'm only 29 years old, and um, so anyways, you know, after the first initial shock, of course, um, you know, I, I, I decide to um, go see several uh, specialists to get the best um, cures possible, and, um, but uh, today, you know, only, uh, see, what is it? Eight months after, I am as healthy as can be because I decided that I was going to get through this, and um, you know, I, um, you know, I, I, I really started um, praying and and thinking about my health and you know, eating healthy and 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 still working out at the gym, of course, because you know, I, I, I that's what I love to do, and and thank God I have 
the wonderful husband that I do because he really is by my side every step of the way. My husband and my family and the whole group of supporters that I have. Um, I just, I can't thank them enough because I would never have been able to do it without them. You know, you need a support group. You have to have the right people around you to support you and 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 just be by your side and and you'll get through it and 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 of course you know the man of upstairs is is a big part of it too you know if you don't have faith in 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 the Lord and 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 in his in his miraculous ways you know there's 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 no way you can get out of it but um so anyways um thank God now I am now you know healthy and. You know, I just turned 30, and uh, I plan on having many, many more birthdays. And um, my husband is, you know, the uh, best husband in the world. Of course, I can't stress that enough. Uh, actually, I think I think he, he might be one of the angels that came down from heaven and just swept me off my feet. <laughs> so, anyways, I just wanted to um, share with you, you know, just. Be strong and 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 don't be afraid because you know as long as you have faith in God and and in your own self you know and that's that's what you need is just you need to to have faith in yourself and 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 in God and 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 you'll get through it and it, I know initially it seems like the scariest thing in the world but um, you can get through it so um, just keep up your faith and. And, and keep praying and and make sure you surround yourself with positive people. There are a lot of these people, good people out there that uh, you know just want to let their negativity rub off on you, and you don't need that around you, especially in in a situation like this. You need positive people surrounding you with positive thoughts and um, positive mindset, um, and you and you can get through it. So. Um, I just wanted to, to let you know this, and, and you know, I, I really want to be an inspiration to people, and I believe that um, that this is that I that I can be. You know, I just I want to get the word out there to everyone that um, that um, you know that you you can get through this. It's scary and it's terrifying at first, but you know it's. It, pe people have gotten through these types of things, you know, even worse than what I went through. See, as you can see, my hair is still growing back here because I actually had to, um, I had lost this whole part of my hair here. And um, since I did that, since I did lose it, I shaved it all off and I was rocking the um, G.I. Jane style there for a while, but now it's starting to grow back. and. But I plan on leaving it short because I, I, I do love my hair short. A lot of people are like, oh, but you look so beautiful with your long hair. Um, which, by the way, I, when I cut it off, I donated it to Locks of Love. And um, so um, hopefully my hair was put to good use. And um, there's some little girl somewhere with my beautiful, long, curly hair. Um, and, and I hope she loves it as much as I did. Um, all right, well, I probably bored you enough with my story. Anyway, so, like I said, keep the faith, and you'll get through it. Thank you.